What's happening, guys? I'm Dan. And I'm Danny. We're back with another beer review, guys. This is going to be an odd one that you don't see every day. Uh, Oozle Finch. This is Don't Be Weird. Uh, charcoal infused sour, I believe. This is uh, quite an expensive beer coming in at $6.49. For one can, guys. So this yeah. is something you we might picked. find it like lower, but we picked this up where from, we found it. Yeah, beverage company in Traverse yeah. City. So take it away. All right. So when we were looking for just like beer to buy, the guy said if you can get beyond what it looks like, the appearance, it was really good. Scary. So uh, this has been a back of the fridge beer yes. for us, but is a sour ale with blackberry, peach, vanilla, lactose. Other natural flavors and activated charcoal. Odd. So it's from Fort Monroe, Virginia, Oozle Finch Beers and Blending. And it's kind of cool because I think it says yeah. who the head brewer is on the bottom oh, of the Oh, yeah. Uh, it is um, head brewer Rachel Howard. Cool. Cool. So. And what I thought was odd, guys, is you can scan uh, this kind of QR code for the date. On, or the Candon date, which is interesting, batch 549. I clicked on it with my phone and it went to a variety of beers. Kind of didn't even see this one. Yeah. So I'm not sure what's going on or if I did something wrong, but we're not going to waste more time on that. Yeah. It's been at the back of our Ooh. fridge for Ooh. several months. And something. To be honest. And not, not well, yeah, but not that long. It's been a couple months probably. It, yeah. But guys, I have to show you this because I saw a picture of this. Yes. Activated charcoal. Oh, so. no. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you look like this? <laughs> so they said, if you can get beyond what it looks like, it's very tasty. It so. looks like death in a glass. <laughs> it honestly oh. looks like... Wow. Um, ooh, look at it bubbling. It is so... It's like tapioca head on top, too. Yes, it's like rising bubbling. Oh but it goodness. looks like um, maybe a puddle of dirty water. Um, don't lick it. I had to because it slipped out. Um... It looks like sludge, like... It looks like tar and, like, gravel, oil. dirt. Yeah, oily gravel, like, nasty. It is... I don't think I can see it. It's very bubbly. That's very insane. Bubbly. That is insane. Let's go to an We're losing focus on us because okay. we were focused it's okay. on It'll beer. come back, and it did. Okay. The aroma's good. It's very grapey. It's, it's berry forward, isn't it? It's like vanilla, sweet cream, like... Blackberry, peach, vanilla... Mm -hmm. Lactose. Yeah, it's like blackberry, like um, rich milk to me, mm -hmm. you know. But it is very thick, milky, sticking to the side of the glass, like not a feeling of this is not going to be a pretty picture. It smells <laughs> like it smells like like strawberry, yeah, milk. Like that's kind of the the vibe it's getting, but it's blueberry, right? Is that's that what? It, oh, and there's peach. That's what it is. It's gonna. There's peach. Turn our teeth. It's flat. peach. That's what it is. That's there's that sweetness and another fruit, and it was peach to me. Yeah. So, okay, that makes sense. Not pretty, but smells good. Let's check this Go for it. bad boy out. Hey, man. Hey. I got a dirty. That's not bad. When you steps. when you look at this, no. you think it's going to be repulsive. <laughs> I mean, that, that's actually quite delicious. It's, there's a lot of peach juice in there. Yeah. Fresh peach, too, like juicy peach, right? Peach. Sour, like has that tart, but not overly sour, where it kind of um, just like destroys your palate. Vanilla rich, blackberry darkness, juicy berries, blueberries, blackberry, raspberry kind of thing. I think without the peach, <clears throat> it'd be a miss, but the, yes. pe the peach kind of brings it all together. There's this big sweetness that's brought out from the peach. I mean, there, there's this gigantic overripe peach that jumps in. Uh, very fresh peaches in here. It's tasty. Yeah, it's just kind of funny, like the don't be weird, and this is like the weirdest <laughs> beer I've ever had. <laughs> this is probably one of the craziest beers we've reviewed. I mean... Uh, yeah, I mean, free. They got like the ice cream truck and stuff. Like it is. It's got like this peachy vanilla ice cream kind of vibe to yeah. it. Icing from a cake. It's got this rich sweetness that comes out very abruptly. Um, but yeah, then there's like this little blackberry tartness yeah. on the back end that kind of mixes with that lactosey creaminess. It's really tasty. Yeah, it's oddly good. And it, yeah, it's got this like bigger kind of he not heavy but upper medium mouthfeel that just mm -hmm. kind of sits with a nice creamy layer. On it has kind of like the like smooge. Um, yeah. Like texture. Yeah, like the smoothie complex to it. But yeah, I mean, what do you rate this? This is, this is not expected. I mean, he yeah. said this was good. I guess I will give it to the guy because this yeah. is a hell of a lot better than it looks. Yeah. I mean, I'm not 
gonna rate it on appearance. I'm just gonna go on the taste. It's um, fun. They do this good. on purpose. It's surprisingly good. Um, it's different. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm just gonna go a uh, four one out of five. That's pretty good. Yeah. I mean, um, on appearance, it's a zero. Uh, but you know what? It, it gets everybody talking. So I think that was intentional. Yeah. Of course, the brewer's like, what can we do that's outlandish, different, unique, mm -hmm. someone's never seen? A for effort, A for uh, originality. Yeah. And you don't see this every day. So yeah, I'm going to go 425 out of 5. Like This is something I really didn't expect in this can. So for sure. uh, yeah, guys, this has been a sour breakdown from Dan and Danny. You know what it is. Uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel, guys, why don't you hit that button? Because guess what? Trying to get to a thousand subs. Give us a like while you're at it. And you know what? And if you don't, we still love you anyways. I'm Dean. And I'm Danny. Catch you on the next review. Cheers. See ya.